Welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. Today I am in my messy garage working on my 76 Mercury Monarch two-door. I'm going to be pulling the engine out of it. It has a 351 Windsor that came out of a van. It also has the C6 transmission. Uh, you can tell that by the way that it is. It's got this big long dipstick tube for the transmission and comes up toward the front of the engine. That's to, to check the fluid level. Does not fit in here well. They use the exhaust manifolds that were on it, but they had to grind them to make it fit in there and they're actually touching the shock towers on both sides. And if we look down on this passenger side, if I can zoom in here, you can see where they had to grind away that exhaust manifold just to get the engine in there. And uh, it's just not right. I already sold the engine. I'm going to pull it out, and the guy's going to come in a couple days and get it. And it, it's a great running engine. In fact, I'm going to start it up for you here. It's got a cast iron intake, Holly 750 vacuum secondary carburetor, HE style, HEI style distributor. It has a Canton oil pan and it runs great. Oh, it also has what I believe is a Comp 252 H cam. It's a hydraulic flat tappet real mild cam but uh, in the receipts i got with the car there was a cam card for 252h so i'm going to assume that's what's in there i'm going to start it up it's got a pretty bad exhaust leak on this side that donut gasket down there is blown out so here we go <laughs> it's a real good running engine reason I'm pulling it out doesn't fit for one. Second thing is that transmission is on its last leg. Oh, here the ticketism. That's the metal cooling down. Anyways, uh, the transmission is starting to slip in second gear. And the trans fluid is horrible. It's black and it smells really bad. So the trans needs to be rebuilt. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to replace this with a 347. It's a 302 that's bored and stroked. And uh, AOD transmission. Now, in my other videos, you saw me doing a garage rebuild on a 302. That was going to go in this car. But that red Mustang found out that that had a 347 in it. Now, it's a flat tappet 347. I'm not a real fond of flat tappets because if you put the wrong oil in them, you're going to wipe out the cam and wreck the engine. So, when I, since I was selling that red Mustang, I decided to put the 302 roller motor in there because you don't have to worry about roller cams going bad. And I took the 347 out. That's going to go in here with the AOD transmission. And um, forgot what I was going to say, folks. Well, oh, the first thing I need to do, actually, is get the hood off there. I'm going to get my neighbor from across the street to come over, help me take the hood off. That's something, yes, I could do by myself, but I'm old and weak and I don't want to risk messing up my back just to take the hood off. I'll just uh, get my neighbor to come over and do it. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did on that red Mustang. Take the hood, 
and set it on some foam rubber on top of the roof. It'll stay there and it's out of the way. So I'm going to get going here. I'll just set you guys up at a corner here on a time lapse and I'll begin the fight. I believe it's going to be a fight since it doesn't fit in there well as it is. And I'm not sure if they put the engine and trans in together or separately. I'm going to try to yank them out of there together. And if they don't want to come out, then I'll have to separate them and pull the engine out first, of course. And um, I just won't know until I get into it. Because I didn't put it in, so I don't know all the problems that they went through to get it in. But I'm going to discover them one by one as I pull it out. So enjoy this. And you'll probably have more fun than I will. I had the neighbor come over. And we got the hood. Shoved it up on the roof of the car. So that's out of the way. Now it's time to start undoing everything to get the engine and trans out of there. I'm trying to get my little tripod here to stay on my voice. That should work. I've got everything unhooked from the top side here. I need to go under the car now and take the wire off the starter motor, undo both exhaust pipes, unplug the neutral safety switch, loosen up the cross member, take out the speedometer, unhook the floor shifter linkage, and I should take dry shaft out and uh, yank her out. Just went through a couple hours of hell. The uh, motor mount bolts, for one, are easy to get to from the front, but the backside, the uh, exhaust manifold studs that hold the exhaust pipe on are right in the way. Uh, but, um, you know, they got them in I got them out. It was a pain. There's other things that were a pain because this engine isn't made to fit in here and it's been made to fit. So now I'm trying to unfit it. I think I got most everything unhooked from underneath the car. I do need to take the cross member off the trans and uh, I need to jack the trans up first. Take the cross member out, lower the trans, and then I can try or attempt to pull the engine and trans out of the car. So I'm going to do that and cross your fingers. I have mine crossed. I'm going to have to try a different tactic. doesn't seem to want to come out of there. It's like lifting the front of the car. 
and I don't want to pull my ceiling down. So uh, I'm going to stick a jack under the engine, see if I can lift it up. Uh, it's probably going to take a while. It's starting to come out. I need to regroup because I got trans fluid pouring out of the trans, even though I did put a yoke in the end of the transmission to stop that. It's pouring out where the speedometer cable goes in. So uh, I got to figure out what the next step is. And I know I can finally get to the wire that's on the starter motor. I couldn't get to that earlier. I gotta regroup. All right, it's out. It only took about, I don't know, four and a half hours. Got a big old stinky transfluid mess here. I uh, contained a lot of it, but uh, uh, I'm wore out. It's time for lunch. Break time. All right. I got the thing pulled out of there, and uh, yeah, it was a fight. I was expecting it, but I prevailed. What I'm gonna be doing with this car, I just bumped into the engine, um, is I'm going to take out that stock manual steering over there. Get my finger, there we are and put in a Borgeson power steering unit with a new rag joint and you just replace that whole uh, unit and then it's got two lines that run over to a power steering pump that'll be on the engine not this one but on the 347 that's going in there so that's going to be the end of this segment of me pulling the engine and trans out of a 76 monarch i did it so now i'm going to drop the engine down take the transmission off of it and then get it ready for the guy that's buying it to come and take it away thanks for watching and stay tuned to my channel for other videos bye